first meeting. And meeting meaning three guys sitting around the table, you know, the old at dinner writing stuff down on a napkin type meeting. And it was in, in Carlsbad, California, probably about uh, 1997. And a fellow named Tim Murphy came up with this idea because he put on these Carlsbad um, 5K race series, which all of you in the running community know that. And he said, I've got this idea for you know, putting on a marathon where you have rock and roll bands every mile, you have cheerleaders, you have competition amongst the cheerleaders, uh, you involve the entire community, you have <coughs> neighborhood contests to sort of come up with, with sort of aid station themes and, and have a contest for that. And at the end, we'll have a big concert after, after the race with a, with a name, you know, with a name uh, group, band, performers, individual. And I said, yeah, sounds great. And I thought to myself, I think if anyone can pull this off, Tim can. Uh, and there was another fellow named Tracy Sunlin with him, who I'd known for years and years. So that's how I got associated with the group. So I guess from the outset, what I'm trying to say here is that I wasn't recruited by them from the outside to help them promote an idea that they had. I was there at the first meeting, and I said, I said yeah, how can I do something here? Because I knew they would be able to take this idea around the country after they had that first event in San Diego. And if you think about it, over the last 12 years, that's borne out. The competitor group is the only group that's been able to take a concept about putting on a huge event for us, the runners, and being able to go to various cities around the country, these different venues. And the southeastern venue is now Savannah. I mean, you were sort of chosen and gone after for a reason. Parenthetically, what, what really I, I, pleases me about this is that I think uh, the competitor group has gotten to the point where People were talking about how Savannah had bid on the event, hoping they would be chosen. And if you think about it, when you start out in these things, you know, you're trying to get people to buy your idea, right? I mean, you're trying to sell your idea and say, hey, we've got this great idea, we think this will work. It's now at the point, if you think about it, it's almost like a paradigm shift. There's been a paradigm shift, and now the cities are coming to the competitor group saying, we want you to put on a race in our city. And I think it's great because they're the only ones who over the past 12 years have been able to go into a community and get along with everybody because there are no hidden agendas. You know, the, the, you, you know who they are coming in, you know what they can do, they've obviously shown what they can do now. And they don't offend the local running community, they work with everybody, they get along extremely well, with the local city governments, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, everybody, the sports <coughs> commissions, they really are great to work with. One of the great compliments I always get from people from the various commissions is they say, you know, you're the easiest people we work with all year. You know, and, and so, 